We are going to deploy our Uniswap protocol to the Sepolia testnet blockchain of Ethereum. So as you can see, this is our repository. We're going to deploy the factory contract, which is the contract that allows user to create new pairs of liquidity of two tokens in Uniswap. And this is the contract that we are going to deploy. We're also going to deploy Johnny Time token, which is just a mock, basic, simple ERC20 token that is going to mint some tokens to the initial owner and this isn't the initial supply and the initial owner so we pass the owner we pass the supply and it's going to mint it for us there is also mint only owner protected function so this token will be used later to create a pair we're going to deploy these two smart contract the uniswap v2 factory and this johnny time token so we have here the deploy script and as you can see we are using uh, different libraries also hardet we also use open zeppelin defender sdk uh, which is basically the sdk of defender that allows us to deploy smart contract either if it's not upgradable or upgradable smart contracts through the defender tool the cool thing about a deploy model is that you don't need to spend ETH or any coins to deploy your smart contracts because open zeppelin is creating a relayer for you so it's basically an eoa account that is generated for you it's funded with ETH, and this ETH is being used to deploy your smart contract you can also define approval process so in case you have upgradable smart contracts you define an approval process that eventually allows you to be the admin that actually approve the upgrades of your proxy smart contracts through multi-sig wallets, through Gnosis Safe. But again, this is something that we deep dive into in the deploy module complete tutorial. So check the video in the description below. Here you can see that we deploy first the factory smart contract and then we deploy the token smart contract and we are going to mint one million dollar of token johnny time token one million tokens as you can see over here so npx hardet run script deploy will basically initiate a deploy script that will hopefully deploy the factory contract and the token smart contract now we already configured our uh, repository in our environment you have to configure here your .env file with your private key and open zeppelin private key and secret obviously this is blurred now but this is something that we did already in the previous tutorial but i will also leave a link to this exact repository so if you want to play with defender and deploy your own uniswap v2 fork your own uniswap v2 version you can just clone this exact repository that i'm using and deploy your own web3 security protocol using defender as you can see the factory contract was deployed unfortunately the token contract wasn't deployed because we don't have enough eth in our relayer account uh, because I did try many deployments already with this Sepolia Relayer, so I just sent a bit more ETH and I'm going to try to deploy the token again. I'm just going to comment out here the factory smart contract deployment and just run the script again. Hopefully this time we'll have enough ETH to deploy our amazing token. Yeah, and as you can see this time when I loaded the Relayer with some ETH, the deployment worked and we also have the token contract deployed. And now if we go here to the deploy model, we see that we have two smart contracts deployed over here and they're currently in, in submitted uh, phase submitted status not uncompleted because what happens is the defender behind the scene is going to verify the deployment it's going to compare the bytecode the local bytecode that we have locally in our environment with the bytecode deployed on the blockchain it's also going to verify our smart contract with ether scan so you don't need to deal with contract verification defender does it for you automatically once you set up your api keys to ether scan and configure it inside defender beautiful we can actually click here this button and it will open ether scan sepolia for us and we can see that the contract was deployed and already verified on ether scan so we can see here the contract name the code uniswap v2 factory for some reason it didn't fetch here the name yet but i guess in few seconds when we refresh the page we're supposed to see here also the contract names uniswap v2 factory and johnny time token this is supposed to be the token contract as you can see johnny time token so we deploy both uniswap v2 fork factory and a new deployed token erc20 token 